Hey, good morning, folks, and welcome again to another exciting episode of Friday with Fran, the real estate man, and I'm happy to say it's Labor Day weekend. Where did the summer go? Uh, hopefully you got some great plans out there, and what I was going to talk to you today uh, a little bit before I got into real estate is this little guy, the Slinky, and that's what we're celebrating this actual day. It's National Slinky Day. So going down those steps, have some quick facts. Uh, might be great when you're at the picnic to you know be able to quote on all of these. So hey, invented actually in 1943 accidentally by a naval engineer who was building certain springs. Um, and you know what's neat? A couple of things about Pennsylvania here. It debuted at Gimbel's in Philadelphia and they sold 400 units in just 90 minutes, and that was on Black Friday of 1945. Um, the walking downstairs one, this I thought, is actually not just walking downstairs, but in physics, it's called transverse wave propagation. So transverse wave propagation. That one will really spin some people at the picnic. Anyway, we found out that there's no slink in space. It didn't go. It needs gravity to do some walking. And I want you to know, to this very day, it's made here in the USA in Hollidaysburg, PA, which is just uh, really near Altoona, but just outside of Pittsburgh. So a little Pennsylvania trivia uh, for maybe your friends and neighbors and uh, relatives at the picnic. But let's get into real estate. I'm kind of hitting this uh, the second week. I apologize for a little bit of a, a technical uh, issue last week uh, of those in our email uh, group. But now uh, we have this uh, information again. I just want to make it clear. Uh, we still have cooperation uh, with our commissions between uh, a buyer and the buyer's agent and the seller and the seller's agent. Um, we're just all talking about it a lot more. Um, so uh, there will be a little bit more paperwork, a little bit more explanation, uh, but hopefully uh, what we're looking for is clarity uh, and uh, equality uh, as we move forward. But um, real estate still is going to be about negotiating and negotiation will still always be a part. But from a paperwork standpoint, uh, you're not going to be able to see a property unless you have a contract uh, with that agent. Just like a seller can't sell uh, with an agent unless they have a contract with them. The duration is really up to you. Um, so, uh, you know, you, you uh, go ahead and, and you have the first couple of meetings. You like it, you can make, so you extend your uh, contract and then you're not signing a form for every property. The other thing is um, we will be negotiating and it will be part of the agreement. Uh, so that the offer will include not only a purchase price, but also a cooperating commission, uh, whether it's paid by the buyer's agent or paid by a split of the seller and the co-op agent that way. Um, so we're hoping uh, it's not going to lead, but some folks are fi finding this already, that maybe it's going to cost a buyer even more money uh, than just those closing costs uh, when they go in there. Uh, to make the purchase. But if you got a good agent, uh, you'll be able to you know, navigate through that and uh, get that house of your dreams and uh, sellers the same way, uh, get that house sold uh, for you. So I'll throw a lot at you. Uh, you might need a slinky after all that. But uh, anyway, here's my contact info. Um, listing an $800,000 uh, property tomorrow in Flower Town. Great if you're looking for two bedrooms on the first floor. Uh, great backyard, uh, updated uh, on the inside as well. So anyway, uh, call me with anything. And I want to thank you again for watching another exciting episode of, I'm going to do it, Friday with Fran, the real estate man. You all take care. Be safe out there. Have fun. Uh, enjoy those last uh, weekends of summer. And kids, get to bed early because school's starting next week. And do your homework. And if you don't have homework, read a book. But anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. Have a great weekend. Take care. And we will see you next week on another exciting episode of Did It Quick, Friday with Fran, the real estate man.